sometimes when you keep searching for something to look for something better, it's never there. And Caitlin was great, yeah. and it always has been since then. Thanks. <laughs> So back in, what was it, 20, 2012, yep, 2012 um, John Luke had just, his partner had decided to stop skating and I was skating with someone else and the Federation reached out to us and they both had kind of expressed an interest in us teaming up together. They thought we'd be a really good match. So John Luke flew out to Detroit at the time and we both said that within the first five, ten minutes of our tryout, we both knew that it was a really good fit. Um, we held hands and did one lap and then my parents actually came out and watched the tryout as well and gave them the thumbs up and I think that Caitlin felt the same thing. We knew exactly, we had the same style, it felt great and sometimes when you keep searching for something, to look for something better, it's never there and Caitlin was great yeah. and it always has been since then. Thanks. <laughs> Even though we come across and, and that we genuinely are just very light, fun people, that we're also our biggest critics and sometimes we both have to kind of <laughs> reel each other in That's from true. not being too hard on ourselves yeah, um, totally. because we're always looking to be better. So um, that we have a very uh, serious side to our skating as well when we're training. Yep. Knowing that we're both so serious about this, it's not just a hobby like it was when we were kids and it's not a job because we love it so much. It's a really weird place that we're in and we get to just ex share these experiences together and go to all these cool places representing the best country in the world. I think our mind mentality has changed a lot in the sense that before um, our focus was kind of just to do the best that we could. And not that it isn't that now, um, but I think we have um, more ambition in terms of what we're looking for. Um, we're really training training to win, that's what we say when we talk with our coaches, they, they express this, um, the intention of training to win because that's everyone's goal obviously, so I think we both are just a little bit more ambitious in, our, in the sense that we have the goals and we want to make sure that we're achieving them. We have a, a lot more knowledge and experience under our belts, um, we really feel like we understand a lot more in terms of what the judges want and even more what we want um, out yeah. of our skating and out of our careers. I think we've both just matured in general. Like we have a better understanding of each other, the way that we work together, the way that we're different, the way that we're the same. Um, so we carry that when we're training and when we're on the ice. It's not that we're trying to re-image ourselves, but we're trying to make a better image of what we already were. So like a Caitlin and John Luke 2.0. We're very ambitious. Uh, we'd love to obviously make the Olympic Games in Beijing, but not just that. I mean, meddling would be amazing. Um, we really want to push ourselves and really become the best athletes that we can be. Um, yeah, I mean, it's quite, <laughs> it's a tw difficult question to ask, but um, you know, I mean, we definitely want to be national champions in the next four years, more than once. Once will work, but Two or three times will be great. <laughs> or more. <laughs> or more. Or more. Yeah. Um, world medalists, all of the above. We want to get all the accolades. And yeah. I think it's possible too. It's not just some pipe dream. Yeah. Like it's easy for someone to say, like, yeah, we'd love to do this or do that. But yeah. I think I think we both feel like with the new direction that we're going that anything is possible. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs>